So that was one day in my web designer life and tomorrow is probably going to be Welcome to my life. As a freelance web designer, every day is a new challenge. I've never been a morning person, at least not before I started freelancing. I was more of a night bird. And the first minutes when I wake up are probably the toughest ones of the day. But don't be fooled by the very serious looks. I might look awake, but I'm still sleeping. But then the morning routine starts. Brushing my teeth. You know the drill, shaving my head each and every day since I was 15, and you probably don't do that. Then comes normal shaving and grooming. Then the shower is probably one of the moments I most appreciate because I feel like I find a lot of solutions during this quiet moment away from notifications. I'm finally ready to tackle the challenges of the day, and if I haven't really smiled yet, it's because I need this. Then, I take a moment watching a video or reading some football news, basically enjoying the moment before the day really starts. But then I quickly start checking my daily schedule to be sure I haven't forgotten important things and I try to organize my day, resetting priorities, confirming meetings, anticipating potential changes and so on. Today, my day will start with a couple of meetings. One with a client that has an urgent issue and the other one with a barbershop, which is a potential new client. I hate going from place to place because of the time it takes out of my day. And when you're a one-person operation type of business, spending half a day in traffic means you're not working on creating websites. And if I don't deliver websites, I don't get paid. So I try to put all of my meetings on one specific day in the week. But as you will soon enough realize, you must be flexible as a web designer and even more so as a freelancer. Now, the good side of being in the car is that it is a time I can use to focus on things I usually don't have the attention span to focus on. And just like in the shower, I often find ideas or solutions during that time. Today was a good day. I managed to find a solution for my client and the barbershop may well become a new client. I can't be 100% sure, but the way the meeting went as well as my experience both tell me I have 80 to 90% chances of turning this lead into a new client. But this is just the beginning. Working from home is great, but not ideal in every situation, especially when you meet a client that is in town or that does not hold a physical office. Now luckily, co-working spaces allow renting spaces by the hour, day, week or month depending on your needs. And there you go. So I only just got here, I'm already tired. So already had a couple of meetings and right now I actually need to start working on a website. But before I do that, it's something I need to do. So now I can get started. In case you're wondering, I often work from home, but sometimes it's nice to come to a co-working space because you can rent the space for one hour, for one day, for one week, for one month. And it can be nice, especially when you need to meet clients and also because we get air conditioning within the price here. And trust me, if you live in a warm country and you get the air conditioning all the time, that's an expense, right? So it's actually quite convenient. But also the fact that you can meet the clients here, to me, it's way better. Also, where I live, there's some construction going on. It's not all the time, but currently there's a lot of construction. So it feels better to work here because it's more quiet. Now, of course, it's not completely quiet 100% of the time because some days are really quiet and some days are actually quite loud because like I said, many people can come for a day, for a week. So there's no similar week usually. But for that, I got an answer. I got this bad boy. So basically, let me turn this on. Basically, this has active noise cancellation. With these on, 
I don't hear anything outside of silence. I, of course, if I want, I can put some music on or I can listen to a podcast on YouTube, but I can work even if people just, you know, speak around me, I won't hear anything. And if I want to scare of people, that's easy. And now when people come around and they just want to chit chat while I'm working, all I have to do is and that works every time. Working on creating the websites is of course the part I prefer. Now, being a creative means creative challenges. And sometimes you just don't find the creative inspiration. Maybe because you're tired, stressed, or just in lack of inspiration. Now, when going out is not an option, I just switch projects and I work on less creative tasks until I find the inspiration. I used to skip taking breaks and I could work like 10 hours in a row, but that is not good at all. So now I make sure that I at least stop between noon and 2 p.m. Okay, so no lunch for me today because I'll be fasting. Just, you know, I started intermittent fasting just to try out because I needed to lose a little bit of weight. So I got used to it. So I'm not gonna eat today but instead I'm gonna go to the gym. Okay, so I just changed my outfit. I'm now ready to go to the gym. Let's get to work. Okay, so I'm back from the gym. And before I go back to my actual work, I really think like I need a nap, like 15 minutes is enough. Just micro sleep, but I kind of need that. And luckily, I got this bad boy. Sleeping as little as 15 minutes can make wonders. I used to not believe in micro sleeping sessions, but now I can preach about it because of the good I know it does. After physical exercise and a micro nap, I'm now ready to tackle the challenge of a new project with a new client. With the experience I've gained, my process is now as follows. When a client signs up for my services, we do an initial meeting just to make sure I can work in the right direction. Now this phase is crucial because it will determine the rest of the project. So I take the time to ask a lot of questions, give examples and explain the process. Not only is it good for the business relationship, but eventually it will help create a better website for the client. Now, once that is over, I proceed on creating a wireframe prototype. I've built my own tool for that on top of Elementor Pro, but there are plenty of great tools that you can use like Figma, Adobe XD, Envision, and more. What's important at this stage is to present a demo to the client, but without any design. All I'm aiming for is for the structure and layouts to be validated by the client. That is a guarantee of limited back and forth and constant changes. When that is done, I can move on to the design phase. And the first step is mood boarding, or in other words, collecting visual snippets of artistic direction that will match the client brief and goals. Once the mood board is done, I start actually designing the website. Now, sometimes I'm blocked in the creative process, but I know that eventually I will find the digital and creative alchemy for that specific project. The more you work on your craft, the better you get. So, <laughs> I'm so tired. It was a tough day, but you know, it's like tough love because I'm so passionate about web design, about what I do, about freelancing that even when the days are hard, I always remember the chance I have, this freedom that I have. Now this freedom comes with a cost, so you need to take care of your meetings, you need to find new clients, you need to take care of administrative tasks, and then when you finish all that, you need to actually start working on the design on the websites. And when you lose your creating juices, it can be really hard, and that's why going to the gym, doing something else is key, in my opinion. So that was one day in my web designer life and tomorrow is probably going to be different. So let me know in the comments, what's your typical day like? And if you're not yet a web designer, what did you think you would find out by watching this video? And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Now, if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up. Now, if you're not a subscriber yet and you want more content about web design, about freelancing, 
make sure you subscribe and smash the notification bell so that you don't miss anything. So that was cool having you with me today. It's getting late and I haven't eaten since yesterday evening. Yes, that's intermittent fasting. So I'm going to go back home, still have a little bit of work to do. And then I'm just going to eat, enjoy my meal. And tomorrow is another day.